Welcome back everyone to another video. In this one, we will be taking a look at the Fredrino graphics driver on the Dragon Ball 410C and will be comparing it against the video core 4 GPU inside the Raspberry Pi 3. On your screen, you can see two instances of GL Mark II running standalone without a window manager for an apples to apple comparison the one on the left is running on the dragon board 410c and on the right you can see the raspberry pi 3 running the same gl mark 2 both of the boards are running a version of mesa 13 so let's talk a bit about the hardware on the dragon board 410c we have the adreno 306 adreno is a series of gpu ip developed by qualcomm Interestingly enough, the core was initially developed under the Imagine brand name by ATI Technologies which is now a part of AMD. Qualcomm renamed the Imagine products to Adreno as an anagram of Radeon. The Adreno 306 specifically released with the Snapdragon 14 uh, on, the, on the December of 2013 has 24 uh, ALU units with a clock speed of 400 MHz, spitting out approximately 21.6 gigaflops of performance. On the other hand, we have a Raspberry Pi 3. It is running on the Broadcom Video Core 4 GPU. Other than the fact that it was the last of its kind, it's a fairly complicated piece of technology and a very, very unique one. It was released back in 2010. The GPU runs uh, at 300 MHz with two vector ALUs, but due to its complication, uh, it's actually fairly more powerful than the uh, Adreno 306 and comes in at 24 gear flops of peak performance. This benchmark is really a great demonstration of the two extremes of the kind of open source drivers available, especially in the GPU drivers realm. For the Snapdragon 410C, we have the Freedreno driver, which is basically uh, a project that aimed to run open source graphics driver stack on Qualcomm's Adreno GPUs. Initially, it targeted the 200 series GPU, and since it is still a reverse engineered driver, that means it was mostly hacked from whatever little amount of documentation that was available at that point in time and a crap ton of guesswork. But fairly recently, there has been a ton of support from Qualcomm, especially in the MSM, DRM and other parts of the kernel that has accelerated the development and performance of the Freedino driver up to a point where it actually performs pretty good and you can see the effect on the video as well. For what it's worth, the movement is in the right direction by Qualcomm. The Linux and free and open source software community has always appreciated open source GPU drivers from the likes of Intel, AMD and fairly recently the Raspberry Pi with their VC4 driver and it's finally good to see Qualcomm joining in. Talking about the Raspberry Pi, we have the VC4 driver for the Video Go 4 which started being developed after Broadcom opened up the sources for the video core GPU. The development is directly supported by Broadcom and is led by Eric Anholt who used to work for Intel prior to joining Broadcom to develop the VC4 driver. As for the benchmark itself, you can see that the Adreno GPU slightly outperforms the Video Core 4. Considering it is for the most part a reverse engineered driver, it is actually doing pretty good. On that note, that is it for today. I'll let you all enjoy the rest of the benchmarks. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing and I'll see you all in the next one.